if you agree, all things are possible for them who believe. All things are possible for them who are able to remember and meditate over good things. Remember and meditate over good things. Very, very important. This year, you need to change the way you think, the way you look at life. You have been lied to. You have been deceived for thousands and several years. But it's an assignment unto us to change humanity from moving anti-clockwise, anti-nature-wise, to moving clockwise as it's supposed to be by divine programming. A person that is going for a destination and you misses your address, you are lost and lost forever. You need a guide, you need a road map, a road, a road map so that you don't make mistakes. When you have a guide, life becomes easy. When you miss the track, you are gone and gone for real. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. None of you is here in Abuja, in the city, without an address. Someone somehow linked you up to where you are today. Begin to check and think about this. Because the most important thing about life and why life is easy for us is because we pay attention to details and we get to the square root of everything we are doing when we get square root to it there are multiple things that will come out people begin to struggle over it but if you just know where those things started from and go there and correct it everything becomes easy Life we are living in the physical world is an effect. Cause is not multiple. C A U S A. What causes something to happen is not multiple. But the effect it creates is too much. When you look at the trees all over the world, everywhere, what caused that tree to grow? What caused that tree to grow? Water. H-E-T-O. So if you want to stop the trees all over the world to stop growing, what do you do? Shut down rain. They will die. But if you are abusing now trying to kill every tree, you see, so that there will be no growth of vegetation, can you see? You will continue killing trees till you die. Because the more you are killing, the more is growing. If anyone don't listen to the teaching of the New Jerusalem, you can never be saved. Quote me right. We are not doing it because we want to do it. We are doing it because we are sent to do it. I'm telling you. Because we have in our relationship with God to get the square root of life. We treat cases based on the roots fundamentally, not on in the effects. And that's why life is so easy and simple you can see one person controlling principalities and powers because we know where to press the button and everything will die down naturally it is us through this fundamental understanding of nature that came to understand that three things is the problem of the world one is satan 
second is religion and the third is ignorance not found anywhere and there is no way any problem on earth could be traced to anything except to these three things either you are a victim of satan your ancestors or you are a victim of religion pastor say general overseer say bishop say pope say or you are a victim of ignorance ignorance means you know something that is true you don't know what you will do to be saved that's ignorance ignoring what would have helped you or saved you that's the meaning of ignorance so immediately we see that somebody is having a problem and want to treat a problem we don't go and begin to ask hey, where is the foundation of your father your ancestor who is after you uh, how many people have you greeted how many people place costs on you uh, where are you going where are you coming from the only thing we check is these three things because either you are falling a victim of satan or you are falling a victim of religion or you are falling a victim of ignorance and when we get through all these things you must belong you must be a victim of one when we now find out that you have fallen a victim what is the prescription to fight this trinity of evil the prescription is still three three against three think good speak good and do good that's all you go and sleep eh, you said spoke something about me hey you do this hey, your ancestor when you travel to december they gave you food they this one is suspecting you you don't need all those things the only thing is that when you think good speak good and do good you do what you put on a light then whosoever is against you is darkness so why do you bother you pray back to sender you go to vigil every day you are running from the foundation every day glory be to god i know so many of you will tell me the son of carpenter you know me it doesn't matter the spirit is giving without measure john chapter 3 verse 34 is giving without measure this thing i'm doing is not because i am too wise or whatever it's only because i know how to pay attention and i make myself available which if you make yourself available not trying to package yourself or to help any person or to impress anybody or to do anything god will locate you God resists the proud and giveth grace to the humble. It's the humility that fetch me this. It's obedience that fetch me this. It's availability that fetch me this. It is love and tolerance. If you love as I love, glory be to God, then you'll be greater than me. If you tolerate as I tolerate, you'll be greater than me. If there is no guilt found in you, God will come and minister to you. Reveal all the secrets to you. So, humanity have gotten wrong address to life. That's what I'm talking about. All your praying and fasting, go and tell them. It's useless. You are selling monkey to buy a, do a, a baboon. You still have a squatting animal in your house. Even if you want, leave Christianity, Christian religion, change and become a muslim you are still under a cage if you want leave muslim join christian religion it's still from frying pan to fire if you want leave sermons go to pentecostal anglican you are still under slavery if you want leave roman paganism catholic and come into the Pentecostal madness, pastors will rubbish you. General overseers will destroy you. There is no safe place on earth except here. So this is the way we solve problems. Don't multiply your problems. Just look for what matters. 
every problem you are passing through originates from you because the one you gave into attacks you then when you have finished making all the mistakes committing all the errors you now come and think that you can bribe God and bribe necessity with your praying and fasting fa 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 foul you must go back to where you missed it nobody will correct it for you because nobody caused the problem for you no pastor can correct your problem for you did you understand what I'm saying you who made the problem the only thing the pastor can do is hey you had a wrong address let me give you a copy and phone number of God so that you can call him and know where he is am I communicating with you give you address this is where you missed it this is where you missed it okay go back and start correcting it anybody who lay hand on you and say yes you are delivered is a lie you are partially delivered the person need a prescription on how to maintain your deliverance and that is attitudinal deliverance crossover night you see churches controlling millions of people want to cross over cross over to where what have you changed in your life when you come back from crossover where are we seeing you in the beer parlor so you cross over from beer parlor to to beer parlor this year now january they have entered into another madness of fasting some are competing maybe some last year they made some made their own 15 days 14 days right now i find out that there are other people making their own 50 days they have to raise it to power 50 then it become 90. why are you suffering yourself change your hearts change your attitude change your lifestyle life is sweet when you have the formula so somebody have given you a wrong address that Jesus is coming the rapture is going to take place when there is earthquake and uh, what 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 before you see God you have to speak in tongues you have to roll on the floor you have to sow seed you have to those things are wrong address wrong address blessed are the few in heart for they shall see god case are the impure in heart for they shall serve satan bible cannot be broken so don't even try to pray glory be to god you know i told you which spoke that uh, the only prayer of a sinner god here is prayer of repentance if you are not ready to repent God will never hear your prayer <laughs> if you are not ready to repent God will never hear your prayer you see so many people they will have uh, somebody they have in the house as boyfriend they are coming to church to pray and fast to cross over with their girlfriend stop deceiving yourself you have wrong address and we are the only people that have the right address to god to freedom to prosperity to peace to reconciliation to everything good on earth so you come here we give you the address let's look at the book of john chapter 3 verse 34 what did he say for he whom god has sent speak the words of god for God does not give the spirit by measure it comes in a way that you have answer and solution to every problem of life today we can give you spiritual protection we can give you spiritual prosperity financial prosperity we can do anything because the spirit is given without measure but why was the spirit given without measure because we are sent 
If you are not saint, it can never be given to you. You continue struggling. Let's go. The Father loved the Son and has given all things into His hand. All things into His hand. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. If a child is born in a family, as a little child, and someone come and carry that child, and the child grew up, not knowing the mother, not knowing the father, but found himself in an environment where he grew up, will he know the real and the original mother? I'm asking if nobody tells that child. Yeah? But this is how it is. The real word of God, explained word of God, the license to use it has not been given to any man. Not until the year 2012. 2000 12 when the new jerusalem began that is when the book of john chapter 16 verse 13 was fulfilled he said how bet when the spirit of truth comes it will lead you to all truth it will not speak of its own but it will tell you of the things that are to come the spirit of god so having gotten the license the approval to teach and explain truth then whosoever follows it heaven is already your portion you don't need to pray for it you don't need to fast for it you don't need to do anything just enter and enjoy all god's blessing start from verse 9 let's see of sin because they do not believe in me of sin because they do not believe in me let's go of righteousness because i go to my father and you see me no more so nobody is expecting to see jesus again jesus will be seen through the holy spirit through the explained word of god through the understanding and self-realization through self-discovery that's the only principle through which you can see god through obedience to the word of God through the purity of the heart through the capacity to love and tolerate other people love your neighbor as you love yourself outside this there is no expectation no prophecy that is coming true that Jesus is coming back in human form Jesus is a revealed word of God Jesus coming back is what revealed word of God when you gain understanding that as he is so you are glory be to god i don't know how many of you that did mathematics square roots is something square root of 100 is what yeah then square roots of 100 is 10 why is square root of 110 because when you multiply 10 by 10 you get you get what you get back 100 square roots mathematics have understood that now we are the square root of god glory be to god we are the square root of God. When you multiply us who are the living saints into the number we are, you get God Almighty. And the square root of heaven is earth, paradise. They are looking at me. Glory be to God. 
begin to clap your hands. So there is no you without Jesus. And there is no Jesus without you. Through your character. Through your lifestyle. Through your relationship with your neighbor. Through the manifestation of that God in you. So you are the square root of God. Praise the Lord. Did they teach you that in primary school? They didn't teach you that you are the square root of God. So don't look for God anywhere. You are the square root. So that's why it's the where two or three gather together in my name, I am there. So if you go now and make peace with your wife, with your husband, with your children, you people have gotten heaven on earth. You people have gotten church in the house. Am I communicating with you? Don't try to cry because you miss bus that take you to a church. When your house is homely, heavenly. Don't even beat an eyelid because you didn't go to church when you have truth in you. Why you are coming here is because we are new every day. Any day we start repeating ourselves that David killed Goliath, stop coming. We have all known that David killed Goliath. Why you come here every day? <laughs> Glory be to God. Because you come daily to learn things you have never heard. So when we get exhausted and our bullet finish, then every day, is the same story speaking in tongues Labanon and Miss Agusigo and all that stop coming that means what we heard from God is finished relocate <laughs> glory be to God I know so many of you even they put God on you you can never miss church like don't go today you must go Because you are not among the Ofeke. Ofeke. Amahogoke eke renko unko unko You are not among the Ofeke. You will always be there because you know the food is always fresh. Always fresh. That even me myself know it not what to teach until I come to the pulpit. Not even the angels. Glory be to God. <laughs> but when we mount the pulpit, the portal is opened. Then we begin to radio heaven. What do they need? You see, as I'm speaking to you now, I'm just searching what is going to be the topic of today's message. I want to hear. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord. Then, let's take it from here. Spiritual identity. Spiritual identity. The topic of today's message. You need to identify who you are. Pick a tally and receive confirmation from heaven before you do anything you want to do Jesus told Peter and Andrew when he met them follow me do what follow me they drop all their nets they say forget about this I'm going to make you fishers of men from today onwards drop it so today drop everything you think you know if you think it is well with you give me your report card how peaceful have you been? How progressive have you been? How rest assured have you been in your life? Do you know where you are coming from? Do you know where you are? Do you know where you are going to? If you know where you are going to, 
and where you come from and where you are why are you afraid of the government why are you afraid of the economy of nation when you have something that is greater than money than paper why do you lie to convince people that what is not true is true to own them as slaves when you have truth to speak just imagine a field a church that is filled with holy spirit i will spend my time and tell you to start speaking in tongues for 30 minutes if i do that if i go to my office holy spirit will beat me black and blue because there are so many things to explain now when we start saying you say this one a lie this one a lie do i have time to tell lies that's the problem just like the reason why we don't get angry we can't get provoked because i don't have time to be angry the time i used to communicate with angel i start looking whether you greeted me or did not greet me whether you came to church or did not come to church when i'm busy with my visitors don't you know that your greeting could be what a distraction could be a distraction in our communication somebody was telling me today hey good morning sir i didn't greet you i say eh glory be to god i've received an alert i'll go and withdraw your good morning to know the first i will go and withdraw your good morning Can I convert it into money? <laughs> Glory be to God. So whether you greet me or did not greet me, it doesn't matter. We are looking for something that can solve problems. I know so many of you are in debt to your brothers in the village. You didn't call them on Christmas. I didn't call too. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't call two. Eh? Because I'm busy. I'm busy. If you have a problem, you call me. I'll solve it for you. But for me who don't have a problem, why am I calling you? Religion. You are maintaining nonsense. Maintaining nonsense nonsense i said this someday we have a family platform there is nothing in family platform you have that is not story come and say sorry to mr this one mr mama Gozi died mama and peter go this way they are doing this thing no progressive discussion nobody will say yes a uh, chick chick Ima discovered how to solve this problem mm -mm it's just a story story recycling something forming a religion in your own house do you have family group <laughs> sit down nobody will give any reports that i was sleeping i discovered how to kill mosquito common mosquito i discover how to kill mosquito what you just see is that mosquito bite me yesterday and it is forming abscess it's turning to pause let us fast for three days one man of god called me from the back when i went there he said who is in navike I stood up. He said, Yes, there is a death in, on, on your head every day. You know, when I was in university, I fast, I fast, I say, Come. <laughs> I say, Come. If I start fasting this way, when time, which time will I have to read my books? <laughs> every
every day you are in adoration ground every day you are in crusade every day you are in upper room every day you are in blessed sacrament ah ah now you kill jesus i'm suspecting you maybe you are a reincarnate of judas a reincarnate of judas or Pilate. Uh -uh. live free life think good speak good and do good you can't after planning to kill somebody you go to god and start praying that god will give you a, a, a blessing glory be to god spiritual identity pick the tally then if your identity is not clear look for it that's what we are so i want every of you that's the meaning of being born again i want every of you to begin now to think where you are getting life wrong not how god is going to bless you because the blessing is already made the blessing is already made from the creation of the earth god created the earth and said it is good it is you who had the wrong address instead of going to yourself you go to a pastor you go to a prophet you go to a church you go to a bible school you go to a theological school you lose it all god is that man whom we would have found if we have not sought for him you look for what is you don't you don't have anything you have that is in you you don't look for it two of us and that is how god is if we are looking for god then what is the meaning that god is omnipresence who can tell me the meaning of omnipresence god is everywhere then you think that it is in the blessed sacrament you are going to see god you are deceiving yourself so it is time you begin to make use of what you have around you appreciate that tolerate that you hate your neighbors right but in the church you are in a fellowship spiritual identity who is ready to pick his own identity so that the god in you would come alive come come alive now i have to tell you when you pick the your identity what you came into this world to do forget about money i'm telling you do what forget about money forget about friends forget about relationship they will come in their thousands am i communicating with you but all those errors you are pampering this is my brother this is my sister if Ali Dangote put wedding in Igbo land where he has never gone for wedding for anybody will people go or not I'm asking eh? but he has not gone for any person for wedding but every day you know, this one one group or the other let us go to this let us go every day now let me give this law which you must follow and we have been saying it i think in side talks don't spend money until you are a rich man write it down don't spend money on anything that is not related to your business to your future until you are a rich person because money flies like breeze it flies away so immediately you cultivate the habit of spending and you are not living above poverty you will never be rich again in your life please don't spend money on anything that is not related to your business until you are rich when you live above poverty then you can spend but if you have not conquered poverty and start spending <laughs> sometimes you get yourself frustrated now i'm still going back to people 
whom pastor would come and tell you to come and sow a seed to give prophetic offering when you are looking for a job when you are looking for a job don't give them shishi it is them that will give you the guidance and address on how to become rich and become successful right before you start spending on them materially let's go to the book of matthew chapter 6 verse 33 is an old story people want to overlook don't spend money unless you're a rich person if you start spending you will die a poor person but do what start from verse 30 let's see what gave us to that but now if god so clothes the grass of the field which today is and tomorrow is thrown into the oven will he not much more clothe you oh you of little faith clap for jesus we have gotten the formula have you seen it it is the day you lose connection with god that's when you start praying and fasting but you don't know because if you have not lost connection with god trees they do not pray they do not fast yet you have never seen that a season comes and a tree fell to bear fruit i'm asking you unless you ask your 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 orange or your dc is uh, planted on the garden of a witch Three of us eh? even what okay but it would do what uh, uh, okay okay you see so if you put <laughs> glory be to god in the garden of a witch it will see grow so everything that is created by god is just calmly calmly following the nature the principles of god no prayer no fasting just they are just calmly like a child but you are adults when you join any group of religion you now want to seek the face of god and you are a square root of god you are you seeking the face of god when you are a square root of god so which face of god are you seeking more than you many people don't cook for their husband because they are in the mountain two of us they are seeking for the face of god you didn't see the face of god in your husband so you are blind <laughs> you didn't see the face of god in your children in the house crying that they are not eating Charity begins where? Uh -uh, in the church. In the mountain. Glory be to God. Are you now seeing why I say you have been, they have been lying to you? Are, is, are you realizing it? <laughs> Glory be to God. If God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, O oh, you of little faith? Tell me anything God created that has a place of prayer. Please, audience is there anything god created on earth that has a, a place of prayer one of children what is their whatsapp group i'm asking all these things are distraction all these things are distraction all these things are distraction from a to z 
instead of you realizing that you have made mistake you go to the altar and start crying <laughs> they are looking at me yeah instead of you to realize that you have made a mistake you go to the altar you start crying weeping instead of correct your mistake and move on let's continue therefore do not worry saying what shall we eat or what shall we do drink or what shall we wear let's go for after all these things the gentiles including your general overseer is still after this thing for your heavenly father knows that you need all these things why you go to crusade is to pray that God will bless you to get a car right then how many children had prayed and fasted to suck the breast of a mother let's take it from there eh? how did you pray and fast to be born in a family you were born into eh? then if God if your mother could care for you this much talk more of the heavenly father who created you and created your mother and created everybody around you let's go for after all these things the gentiles seek for your heavenly father knows that you need all these things let's go but seek first the kingdom of god and his this is the two things that will make you successful then the kingdom and the righteousness which one come first righteousness righteousness is the key you are going to use to open the kingdom so when you get the key of righteousness you open the the kingdom you enter and all these things shall be added unto you that's all so what we are doing today is a breakdown so that you know where your problem is coming from your prayer is not coming because your fault is not coming because you don't know how to fast your pro problem is coming from the fact that you don't even know that you have a problem ignorance is controlling you that you don't even know that you have a problem because identifying that you have a problem is 50 percent solution to your problems that's why so many people standing here today maybe newcomers will still be saying my church my church my church my church my pastor say God will help all of you. May you be delivered in Jesus' name. Don't allow, be, a, be an ownership of yourself. Do what? You must own yourself first before you start looking for whom to own or to control or to influence. And the only thing that can make you to be in charge of yourself is the knowledge and understanding of the teaching of the New Jerusalem right then when you become ownership of yourself you see people looking for you because you are in control of yourself in the book of matthew chapter 7 verse 3 he say how do you remove a speck in your brother's eyes and there is a timber in your own eye let's see that thing and why do you look at the speck just a dot of it in your brother's eye but do not consider the plank in your own eye let's go 
Or how can you say to your brother, let me remove the speck from your eyes and look a plank is in your own eye. So the problem you have to solve is to own yourself. Ownership of yourself is knowing your limits and knowing that you have a spiritual identity something that you came into this world to do when you get that identification and get the tally and find the kingdom of god and his righteousness this is when every other thing including fame popularity friends money cars building husband wife everything shall be given unto you but if you have not sought for the kingdom you want to rule over people you will forever become in torment that's why we discuss it in your office that's why there are two types of ownership two types of ownership godly ownership and ungodly ownership godly ownership and ungodly ownership and today I will teach you the right form of ownership the right form of ownership the first form of ownership which is the godly form of ownership is ownership by service ownership by service by love this is a situation where you come to the understanding you own people based on the service you render to them the quality service you render to them these are the people who cannot do without you then ownership which is ungodly ownership is ownership by trick by force by intimidation by lie by all manner of negativity by lies and all manner of negativity this is ungodly form of ownership then a godly form of ownership is a situation where people are looking for you you own them not because you intimidated them but because they cannot do without you based on the fact that you are rendering a service to them am i communicating with you people are looking for you not because you intimidated them or lied to them or threatened them or forced them or tricked them they are looking for you because they can't do without you this is a situation where we say that service is complementary not competitive service is complementary not competitive and when you are rendering a service which is complementary that means you are doing to someone what he cannot do by himself or what he does not have the time to do or what he does not have the skill to do so he will always need you because you are rendering a quality service to that person we will render a quality service to that person so if you want to be influential choose ownership by service own people because you render service to them ownership by service the value the timely assistance you give to people which they cannot do without you or they don't have the time to do it then you come and compliment them and render that service that person will continue looking for you because you did to that person what he couldn't have done by himself or does not have the time to do it or he does not have the skill to do it but ownership by force or by trick or by lie like the religious leaders is a situation where you continue looking for people people don't look for you and when you get them you force them to do something any day they realize your trick they will run away from you This is a place where somebody is trying to poison a master because he doesn't have love for the master he's following the master because the master forced him to follow him that's ownership by force ownership by force is by lie you come and lie to somebody like as religious leader allowing to you when the teaching of the new jerusalem spread 
I bet you church will be empty. Church will be empty by on itself, naturally. You won't see anybody. Pastor will mount in the pulpit and begin to say, Where are you people? They say, No, we have uh, the teaching of the New Jerusalem at home. We have the laws of truth. We have the book of excellence. We have the materials of the New Jerusalem. Go and find one, you too. Churches will naturally become empty because we don't own people by force, we own you by service. If you think you can get any service and time we spend on you anywhere else, go there and get it. That's why when you so many people will leave church, after leaving church, you must come back unless you perish. Because we love you, we give you our time, we give you our teaching, we break everything down. Whatever you need, we render service to you free. Are you okay? Then you will see the freedom and still be telling us that we have to do what ownership by service we are indispensable in the society somebody last sunday told me a story that shocked me and become a prophecy in fulfillment of what i say someday you see the new jerusalem it is at the center of the universe that's why it's called the Worthy Lord Church of the Universe. Those living Catholic today have seen light in the New Jerusalem. When they get tired of Roman slavery and paganism, they will see where to run to and get completely saved. Those that are coming out from uh, Pentecostal madness, immediately they come out from there because they are tired of false prophecy and all that they will see a place a resting place people coming out from other religion like islam or whatever wherever judaism when they come they see place because this is square this is what square in whichever angle you are coming you will be accommodated in the east in the west in the north in the south you will be accommodated do you know the meaning of square in arab in arabic language it's called kaaba it's called kaaba this is what they have been looking for for thousands of years a square truth do you understand what I'm saying do you know what is Kaaba one black what okay Yes. Have you seen it? Glory be to God. And to shock you the more, let's go to the book of Exodus chapter chapter 38. Kaaba means square. These people are looking for square truths. A truth that is not adulterated, but they don't know how to get to it until the coming of the new Jerusalem. let's go he made the altar of burnt offering of acacia wood five cubits was its length and five cubits its width it was square oh god almighty glory be to god in the ancient days before the coming of christ they were told to make the altar to be square in a square form but that was symbolic today we are making it a reality we are coming with square truths explained and simplified truths truth that is flawless flawless 
square truth. That's it. People in the ancient days, Moses was told, when you want to build an altar, make sure that this altar is square. We need something that is perfect as God is perfect. Religion is evil. They have sought for God. They couldn't see because nobody was humble enough. Then everybody surrendered and was making sculptures to confuse people. You know, in the story, the same Exodus, it was said that God told Moses, if you see me, you will die. Right? I think that was the genesis of fear God began. If you see me, you will die. Who can give interpretation to that? Well, God told Moses, if you see me, you will die. What that what meant before it was wrongly interpreted is because anybody who have found the truth is dead. You must be humble. <laughs> when you find truth, you become humble. Nobody. That's what he was telling Moses. You see this your anger killing people in Egypt it will stop when you see me so are you ready to die in the flesh your body must die the body spirit of anger spirit of malice spirit of greed spirit of vengeance spirit of retaliation spirit of whatever comparison it must die that what God told Moses he didn't mean that Moses was going to die physical death God is not a murderer I have seen him and I didn't die. Uh -huh. Glory be to God. So you have to die. That is to say that your own does no longer matter. That was St. Paul is saying, whether I am alive or dead, it is all gain. Because I was crucified with Christ. So seeing God and dying is a misinterpretation by them that have held humanity to captivity and then proceeds the word fear God fear God how can you fear someone whom you love do they go together so God was telling Moses I know you are always God provoked you are too angry you feel so superior that you know what other people don't know if i will reveal myself to you you must die because my spirit and your spirit cannot contend genesis chapter 6. so choose whether it is you moses your own will that you are going to rule us and lead the people of the israelites to the land of each a land of uh, canaan or is it me god now god i want to see you he said no if you are going to see me you must give up your will you must surrender you must die glory be to god so this is it in a situation in a relationship where there is everybody wants to talk to speak whether it is right or wrong that means you are not dead in a situation where you are looking for who insulted you and who did not insult you who come to church and who did not come to church the number of uh, this you know when we were in the small auditorium with all this imported uh, idea the ushers then when people come to church they say they want to take the number of uh, people that came to church i say no 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 nobody should cause me high blood pressure nobody will cause me high blood pressure what of if they are 100 and sometimes drop to 50 so I will go and take a BP drug because I will think I'm losing I'm dead whether you come or did not come it does not matter for me I wasn't even away Let's go to Galatians. Where are we now before going to that Galatians? 
Exodus. Okay, let's let's get that Exodus and see the meaning of Kaba. Kaba is not a stone. Kaba is not an altar. Kaba is truth that is squared. The Kaba. Glory be to God. So the altar, you see what I told you people? The spelling of altar is what? A-L-T-R. Because people don't know the meaning, why the occult people hide this thing here? Right? Because they don't know the meaning, they now went and molded a sculpture. And said this is altar. Like if you go to people under Roman paganism, they have sculpture, they molded. They say this is my altar because of this confusion written a l t a r this is supposed to be naturally what altar a l t e r which means something that alter your conscience not to do bad not to hate so anytime you remember the word of god your conscience has been altered You want to slap somebody you remember that you pray the prayer of the cross jesus christ is my father i will do and behave like him in all situations father son holy spirit give me the grace to fulfill all these things when you want to slap somebody bam you remember that if it were jesus you will not slap somebody your conscience has altered so altar is in your heart not in your room altar is where in your heart you carry your altar wherever you go not molding a bag of cement and start kneeling down there benjamin i hope you have stopped what you used to do hey? each time he comes to the church i know yes he was either a son of a reverend father or a cousin a brother you do like this bowing to to something you don't know if you bow your head physically and your heart is standing up, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Religion. May you be delivered. So now he was instructed to make the altar. You see the spelling now the spelling has put a spell on humanity a curse on humanity because it was wrongly spelled he put a spell people are now confused i saw a little child here wearing this their charm called the rosary in their in the heart your 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 adopted son i say remove this thing you don't wear it so this place Glory be to God. Altar. This is it. He made the altar of bond offering of acacia wood. Five cubits was its length and five cubits is width. It was square and its height was three cubits. Let's go. He made his horns on its four corners. The horns were of one piece with it and he overlaid it with bronze square people have been looking for jesus for truths for truths that is square perfect so when you start living in the truth that is square which is the teaching of the new jerusalem then you too will become square and that's all so kaba in arab arabic means square now we are passing away from a sculpture called kaaba we are now entering into a spoken word which jesus said i am the way the truth and the life nobody goes to the father except through me so pilgrimage is going to stop when the teaching of the new jerusalem spread the word because you can create recreation in your heart but just by sitting at home 
you create heaven inside your heart when you are peaceful so heaven is not found anywhere paradise is not found anywhere except in your heart so the story i was telling you before we come to this was that someone went to church went away was in the in the city or in the village i don't know where he was he saw somebody playing our message and he's not a church member he doesn't come to the church he now asks the person ah how come you got this message who gave you this message he says he's a muslim man that downloaded the message and transferred to him who is a christian then he became a thing of concern to the person who is a a church a part of us here who had the message somewhere and he begin to say where is that man they told him he told him where with the man he went to the man the muslim person and said where did you get this message from do you know the church he said i don't know the church do you know the man i don't know the man how come you are listening to this message this is true what this man is teaching is truth whether he's a prophet or not i was once blind now i can see so don't say i said but this one this man is teaching is truth so i have to download it and he now starts spreading the gospel of the new jerusalem Judy, remember what I told you when you were in my house? That's 2001. When I told you that God Almighty referred to me. Eh? That the 50% of Muslims will repent and follow the truth. Because Christianity or the teaching of the New Jerusalem God is beyond religion. God is beyond religion. God is anything that solves problems without having any negative effects. Am I communicating with you? Anything that solves a problem. And that is science for you. Science solves problems. And conquer time and space. So we have processed God. That we don't care. Whether you are a Christian or a Catholic or a muslim or a judaist or a hinduist we don't care what we are asking is be in peace with your marriage be in peace with your family be in peace with your family your relatives don't cheat anybody do good think good speak good it's not address of any religion it's an address of your heart how you can live peacefully so imagine that happening now what do you think will happen when this goes viral i used to ask at the early stage of church crowd people tell me any muslim that is not using fan tell me any christian that is not using fan is there fan muslim fan is there muslim ac is there christian uh fridge no you people are just destroying yourself fighting one another because you have not found god you are looking for you've not found god you are looking for you are causing problem this one is a muslim this one is a a muslim which i told you even before i became man of god how many muslims did i put on that scholarship four of them Four. when i was so naive about the desire to serve god the desire and the need to serve life there in the transformer i met an imam and told him every friday because i wasn't going to church i told him every friday all the money they are going to use for abolition i will pay for it I continue paying water 
all the water they are going to use for abolition, I will pay for it. Every Friday, every Friday, I will pay. Because my concern is, how do I render service to humanity? Not who belong to any religion. It doesn't concern me. You know, you, you all of you should know this man. He has a problem in one eye. And he has gaming. Game, game. Go and ask him. He has beer beer. White. The beer beer is white now. Then it was not white. Which he has eye problem. Go and confirm. Be out to serve life. Religion is evil. He came to divide humanity. He came to destroy life. Now I will see somebody and hate him because he is a, a Muslim or because he is a, a Pentecostal or because he's a Catholic. Hate the sin, not the sinner. Destroy the system called religion. Don't destroy human being. And the only thing that can destroy the system is truth. Everybody should pick your identity, what you came into this world to do. If God is that religious and naive and so confused, you know what he would have done? He would have been creating people, some people with four fingers and some with five fingers. Immediately you are born and we find that you have family, four fingers, we know yes, you are a Muslim. And you have three fingers. Three fingers is Judaism. Then five fingers. Or seven fingers will be who? Christian. Then if you are only six, you are anti-Christ. Then <laughs> oh! <laughs> glory be to God. But God created us equal with the same feature, with the same design. Immediately you come, pam, and say you are you have grown up. They push you into one organization and begin to control you like uh, Semo. You know, with that local. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. We are beyond religion. That's why we are free. That's why we are free. Now imagine, as God said. If the world do not worship me, I will raise stones. I will raise stones. He will worship me. People will testify. Glory be to God. What we ask you, do you have what is working? Can you solve a problem? Blessed be the name of the Lord. Personality. Don't own people by force. Don't rope your life on any person. You must, you must. No. Give them explanation. Love them. Render service to them. So that when they go out of you, they look for where to rest. They will not see. Look at what happened to the, 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 the parable of the prodigal son. The guy was there enjoying everything. He said, no, father, I want to pull out. I won't go to your church again. The prodigal son did what? He left the father. When he went there, he sought for everything he couldn't see. He came back again and said, Father, please, I am sorry. I didn't know that you were a good father. <laughs> I didn't know you were a good father. father. I thought you were like them. Now the father said, Okay, let's uh, make merry because you come back. It's for you to be good. That's my concern. I didn't want you to run away. But as you choose to run away, I can't follow you. Go and experience. After experience, you come back. Then he experienced and came back. The father embraced. They became one again. Now the mumu who was with the, in the house said, Hi, why are you celebrating the one that came? The father also told him, If you kill cow and kill goat, am I against you? you have good things but you don't know how to make use of it and this is now shame to christians who have jesus but they don't know how to make use of jesus are we there they have jesus they don't know how to make use of jesus now this 2024 now 
Glory be to God. Something must happen. And when it happened now, people will tell me, yeah, this person started church yesterday. Waiting consign you. Waiting consign you. He started yesterday and is more obedient than you. He has more understanding than you. So, what do, do I owe you anything? The answer is no. As far as you can see, as much as you can be obedient, as much as you can understand, that's how you are going to enjoy the blessings that is in the embassy of the New Jerusalem. Love is greater than hate. Love is greater than hate. Glory be to God. Personality. Spiritual identity. Identify yourself as a child of God. Who will never do anything that is wrong? Who will never cheat anybody? Who will never force anybody to do anything but come with explanation? Then people will love you. You own them and own them for life. Because why they love you is not because you intimidated them. If you intimidate someone to obey you, any day the person sees a slighted opportunity, bam, he will run. But if you are one with the person, I'm seeing you here for the first time. Stand up. Look at this person now. We all drove Keken Apep. 20. Gabriel, come. I cited you there. Glory be to God. We all drew, ke drove Keken Apep 2007. How did you see me? Eh? Now, this one is A1. Aran has one, two. A2. A2 is your A what? A2. A2. He was my second driver in Kekenape. You know him? It's A2. Now, I had 12 pieces of Kekenape. I had 12 drivers. This one was seconding the manager. All of them from A to Z, I don't know where they are living. Nobody carried my machine and my, my tricycle with collateral. The love I gave to them is more than they could control. They can't run away with me, with my car, because the love is too excess. This is when I was in transport. So it is love that rules the world. Not intimidation. Not by force. Not by trick. You can't own people by forcing them to do what is not their spirit you have not agreed. Now the day I came to know his house was the day he did child dedication. Somebody was under my company got married. Many of them bought cars. Many of them, Jerry, had a car. If I built house, that my manager. Now, this one was the one telling me, okay, you not go marry? I say, forget about marriage for now. <laughs> forget about marriage. You remember? Okay, now I'm going to marriage. Okay, you not go marry? I say, I not go marry. You people should go and marry under my company. Now, the day he did child dedication, that's when I got to know his house. And when Jerry also did, Jerry from Ebony State, did his uh, child dedication, that's when I came to know the two people out of 12 drivers. All of them were responding to me. Now, today I see this one here. <laughs> Love conquered all things. Love conquered all things. Ask this person the day I called because I first saw somebody and collected his number. After 10 years, I collected his number and called him on phone. He said, When give me microphone, praise the Lord. When my call came after 10 years,
He screamed in the midst of people. What did you say? That people were asking you, how, how do you mean? Praise God. Immediately I saw the number. I said, ah, who be this? Because I don't know the number. Of yeah, my yeah, yeah, yes. So when he, he talks, I heard him. I said, I said, I have come again. That's what I said. You can sit down. Sit down. You see what he said? After 10 years, Messiah has come again. Because of how we loved ourselves, related as brothers and sisters, nothing. We were one. Everybody was responding. You see so many people driving their own machine. They will pack it and say, Oh God, I want to. I say, but you have machine. He said, No, you are the only person that knows how to manage it. I will be under your company. Glory be to God. Okay. Was I a pastor then? Was I a man of God then? Do I have church? Do I have followers? They were my disciples and i showed them love i didn't force them to be a part of me i loved them to be a part of me i was indispensable to them because they needed my service and i gave them and do things which they couldn't do by themselves look at look at them they are coming many will see come Many will say, come, love does not die when there is understanding and the right application. Why do you build up a relationship and destroy it because of a peanut? Because of a peanut. I didn't own them. Do you know them? They were doing delivery in machine. He's here. To the owner of the machine. That made me the richest kekena pepper operator in the whole FCT. They were doing delivery 12,000 naira every week. But I told them, he's here. I told them 10,000 naira. The driver services the tricycle. But I told them, don't service. I will service for you every two weeks. You can't go on the way and see my vehicle stop anybody, any of my driver. Because everything is brand new. Start learning how to own people. The rightful ownership of anybody you come in contact with. You want to cheat the person. You want to tell lies. You want to do this cut corner. Tomorrow if the person sees you on the way. If it is stone that is in his hand. Then you are in danger. If it is stone that is in his hand. Many of you will see people who have served you start hiding. Even when it doesn't have any stone. Let's go to the book of First John. Chapter 4 verse 18. Please watch attentively. Don't deceive yourself. Claiming you are a Christian. Come and pick your spiritual personality. Your identity. Spiritual identity. As a child of God. You live in error, you live in sin, you tell lies, you cheat, you fornicate, you masturbate, you smoke, you drink. You, when the children of God gather, you gather. When we are praying, you start praying. Why are you praying to who? Cheat people every time, lie, 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 lie. Nobody can trust you. Let's see. There is no what? Let's read. Let all of us read. Uh -huh. Clap for Jesus. Do you understand that? Let's look at it. There is no fear in love. But perfect love casts out fear. Because fear involves torments. You know what is torment? But he who fears has not been made perfect in. So the only thing that will make you be afraid of people. Hey, they are ganging up against you. To do what? Are you owing them? 
a leader is that man whose followers cannot afford to lose that's a leader let's go we love him because he first loves us let's go if someone says I love God and hate his brother we are now coming back to sender your uncle will fall from palm tree these are your prayer type points let's go he is a liar for he who does not love his brother whom he has seen how can he love God whom he has not seen it's a question no? eh? <laughs> somebody close to you <laughs> you 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 see maybe I will visit your house someday I will do what physically you see where you wrote in the in the wall February 28 over my dead body uh, 2000 and uh, <laughs> when you are somebody spoke something you can never forget can never forget you go and write it on the wall you don't remember how to move forward how what you are remembering is how you would move backward we have to come to the end but everybody should go and pick what your spiritual identity all of us can gather here and claim to be Christians fa, 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 fa. God knows those that are his God knows those that are is and when he blessing begins to come he blesses you according to your faithfulness and your understanding i told you someday a woman with the issue of blood was not the only person who was sick among the crowd he was the only person that trusted that jesus can set him free right and set her free he was the only person there so if you are there piling up anger malice who to revenge and retaliate be there you will stay there till we pass you and every of you should note i've said it and i'm repeating it this thing i'm talking about 2024 i'm not hyping you is a cycle that has completed this is 2024 the 24 elders has passed since 2000 the year 2000 the cycle is completing this year after the passage of 24 years now this is the time of reaping that's why we call it a year of harvest the 24 elders that the year 2000 since the year 2000 after 24 years the 24 elders has manned each year and confirmed them and proven it that the 2024 upwards the children of God will begin to celebrate life so it's not something anybody is made up it's not a make up something it's a reality so I'm not hyping you you people will see the music when we start beating it so tighten up your seat belts this is the year people will envy you this is the year people will envy people who are here who will create class financially we have stayed and patiently long enough this year quote me January next year quote me refer me to this thing I'm speaking today so it's not something I'm telling you to say amen it is something we have been waiting for monitoring like astronomers and astrologers who saw the birth of Jesus Christ and followed the star so I have patiently been following 2024 it's coming to this present day money will be like water 
but can only be found in the hand of the faithful. Because as I'm saying now, many men of God want to do good, but they are doing good in error. Don't give to spend money is a punishment when you don't have truths. Please write it down. To spend money is a punishment when you don't have truths. Because it is truth that gives you the insight for right investment. And the right person to give. Many people want to do good as we are doing philanthropically. But they don't know how to do it. Because they don't have truth in them. If you come and give somebody whom you have not trained to live above money. If you give the person money, he will use it to destroy himself, destroy you, and turn against you. Because it's not his fault. If we come now and begin to share money to people in the church without training them. Right? The, you have caused the person to stop coming to church. Because if you give him 200,000 naira, expecting him to turn over, and he could, she couldn't turn over the 200,000 naira, she will become fearful and ashamed of you and stop coming to church. Now you become a demon to whom you are helping. So before you give somebody money, you must make sure that the person is living above money and the person is attitudinally delivered. When the person becomes attitudinally delivered, give the person anything. The th that thing will no longer control that person. The person will be able to control that. That's the challenge. Many men of God. You see December now, they pack money, give. And this man give this person 20 million. He give this person 10 million. He give this person 4 million. You are causing confusion in the society. You are not doing God's work. You are doing demon's work. Because that person you gave 5 million naira, without training him, he will use it and marry three wives, use it and go and reclaim a land from the uncle and cause so many problems. You are here as a man of God, you have given somebody money. When you come here, we will suspend you for to details for a period of two, three years. When we confirm you trustworthy, you can receive anything from us. And that's when you begin to give, your giving continues spreading. Because anybody you give becomes equal to you. Can save another person. Can save another person. Can save another person. It, be, it has a ripple effect. Am I communicating with you? Yes, Alright. So, love conquers all forms of fear. If you give somebody money, and the person is not trained on the realities of life, he will use that money and turn against you. So before you let go your money, make sure that that person is in line with the truth and the money will not destroy the person. <laughs> Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Your God is good. Your God is good. Who are you? You are a square root of God. God with small g. You can do all things. You can do all things. And I said it, any person whom you know have not repented, don't give the person one naira. I'm telling all of you now who are here. Because what will happen this year? You see everybody having money at hand. Uncle, uncle, ask the person to go and follow the truth. Are we together? We waited for 11 years. You know why? The reason we waited for 11 years is to bring people that will be trusted. You know when we are sell selling currency on crossover? We say we made it to be high so that it's not everybody who pick it. This year now, for 11 years, many people have left the church. 
those people that left the church are the people that are not worthy to be a partaker of 2024 blessings and we patiently have been waiting we patiently have been waiting to know if these people can see a piece of corn I mean a trailer load of corn in just one piece of corn so this year is a year of harvest where the sower and the reaper because I know so many of you are now living above money glory be to God father I pray may everything that comes to you be on merit and anyone you will have a relationship with be someone that will promote your life do what you cannot do for you and render service to you not to destroy you or to exploit you in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus thank you Holy Spirit may you become an influence anywhere you go may your love become a language and your first nature may tolerance and goodness become your first nature in the mighty name of Jesus may I use you as a contact to your family through you let your family all be saved who is ready for that father I pray receive it in the name of Jesus may your spiritual identity become eternal become eternal become eternal become eternal become eternal ask God may I be an influence may I be a terror in a land of darkness ask 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 father may I be a solution to humanity and a terror to the power of darkness a solution to humanity a terror to the power of darkness give me the power the understanding more than you gave the servants the wisdom enablement more than you gave the servants to do exploits to rule over my world to have my identity as a person who never compromise who never do evil or agree to evil or discuss evil open your mouth and begin to pray for identity in Jesus mighty name we pray you know why I'm telling this many of you want to go to village to solve a problem <laughs> there are demons in the tall gates that enter your village when you are passing to your village they have to check you scan you spiritually for you to go to village and come back if you are not sophisticated spiritually they will take whatever that is in your pocket and when you come back you start struggling there are things you don't see you see now they are saying checkpoints everywhere you haven't even seen any checkpoints satan will check you hundred times before you enter your village many villages have shrine in their entrance two of us you pass a shrine it, you, you think they don't know that's a target that's a target you are in top of Okada hey I'm back they have known even before you pay your flight ticket you are telling people around your back they knew you were coming I'm asking that when you have <laughs> you have that identity when they stop you on the way you flash your ID card I'm a new Jerusalemite please give way I am a new Jerusalemite my document is complete they check your document do you think good yes it thinks good do you speak good yes you speak you speak good 
How long did you renew your charity work and your good work? It's, 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 it's up to date. We'll pass. Check your particulars every day. But you don't know. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Nancy, you came back. Was there any tension? You, how, many, you, how many times you used to fast before you travel, before you came to New Jerusalem? Uh, you fast how many days if you want to travel before now? Okay, you'll be scared. Okay. Uh, your heart, just tell me. Uh, okay. Okay. You don't have any issue. He says she used to fast and fear why travel. But now can safely go home and come back. I pray for that identity to be given to you. Power over principalities and powers. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus is older than the deity in your village. I pray may you receive the identity as a new Jerusalemite who think good speak good and do good any property of Satan you have return it open your mouth and begin to give them return it because you want to pick a new identity any property of Satan anger greed malice discontentment fear urge for evil fornication smoking drinking masturbation lying cheating anger false expectation spirit of religion any gathering that doesn't glorify and promote you promote god open your mouth and begin to pray satan come and take your property come and take your property i give you all return them return your property anger malice fear doubts heavenly father unforgiving spirits bitterness of hearts greed anxiety worry impatience return them return them and be free be free take the spirit of love patience tolerance calmness confidence trust in god begin to speak to yourself I give up all the negative spirits negative agenda I give them up that I can move forward I give them up I can move forward a new life in an old world make me a born again give me a new identity identity spiritual identity identify me as your son as your daughter as your child as a child of god send your angels to walk with me to walk with me begin to pray for spiritual identity if they see the blood they will pass over you in jesus mighty name we pray thank you lord thank you uh -huh. what's your name come what's your name shima wow you made it today Eh? How did you enjoy the service? Praise the Lord. I met this person in Apo, Mechanic Village. When they were having son, uh, Monday, Monday prayer. I go to Apo, they say there is no business because they are having prayer. I went there. I stood, I was watching them. They were babbling. You know, after that, he come in the time of offering right i went i was they will have the open basket everybody was dropping 50 naira 20 naira 100 naira and all that then i bring high denomination and drop so that the pastor will see it because that will be an entrance Yeah. 
yes, that's what we do now. So I brought it. I was the last person to give. Then the pastor saw it and said, Hey, this one, this Monday is a wonderful Monday. <laughs> they don't know I was buying tickets to communicate with them. So after that, I said, uh, Can I speak to you people? And the pastor said, Come, take a microphone. I said, No. I don't need microphone. Let me talk to the people that came here. Because if I use microphone, the whole apple will begin to hear it. But you people that foolishly came. <laughs> you people that foolishly came looking for God where God is not. I'm going to talk to you people. I will release you today. <laughs> so I began to talk to them. I said, You people have been doing this thing every day no results and when we finish now all of you will go and uh, some will take half some take will snap some take this one are you going forward or going backward after scattering them <laughs> oh, I'm not going. they say where are you are you away i said i'm nothing are you a man of god no where is your church i don't have a church I just came to tell you people this madness if you are not helping you all save they call me do you want water take water take water they will buy <laughs> i left i left so after six months or thereabout i was in apple again repairing car this one passed it started greeting me from the first edge Good afternoon, sir. 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 So he was about crossing the this thing. I said, Who is good afternoon? I said, Come. The way you are greeting me, do you know me? He said, Yes. I was the person who was there. I was among those people you came to preach to. I said, I, I forgot him. Then we sat down. We talked. After talking. I gave him a YouTube channel. I say you go and watch. Now, Chedi, Chedi, right? Chema, okay. When you finish watching the YouTube, after like uh, two weeks, he called me on phone. I picked it. He said, "Hey, you picked my call. I have been trying to call you, but I don't know whether you are going to pick." <laughs> <laughs> you pick my call and so we begin to talk after that he says since that he's a member of charismatic i think he's a leader what happened after we had an encounter we met and you watched through to market uh-huh hello seriously i'm very very happy that when i met him i don't know that he's a man of god I thought he was an ordinary person because he just sat down, ordinary wood like this, ordinary wood. I was greeting him, he closed his eye. I greeted him. Then when he responded, he said, Come. Then I come. He sat down like this, then I sit like this. He stand up from that place. Come and sit near me. Say, let me bring my phone. I said, I was looking at him. He go to the YouTube truth market say i should go through it then we started discussing discussing after the discussion he said i should go into his car and pick book of excellence yes yes i can pick it then after the discussion one guy all of us we are discussing i did not even ask him about his contact then the ma the guy asked him that he should give him his number then i connected the number i left this thing was happening on 20th december so when i go to the youtube i started listening to it i said hey this man is a man of god <laughs> i say what <laughs> very quiet very gentle very humble in Gariki Dinari, in praise and worship, I am the publicity, sec uh, publicity secretary for Gariki Dinari, the whole Gariki Dinari. And the way I live my life, if you call me, I, so if I look, I, why are you disturbing? <laughs> <laughs> praise the Lord. <laughs> then in my prayer group, I am the 
treasurer in my prayer group, Jesus the Bread of Life. So in, in my own department, I am the leader of praise and worship. But I found out that I thought I'm a Christian, I'm a pagan. <laughs> When I started listening to it, I said, This kind of a thing exists. I say I'm the one holding myself for how long? So, after two weeks, my life changed entirely. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And before I thought money is hard, I don't know that money is nothing. Because whenever I come to the market, I'm not interest, interested about money again. I will be listening to the, the teaching. The, the teaching. Customer will be disturbing me. I'm not interested. <laughs> <laughs> and whenever I'm watching it, if you call me, I will not be. They say I'm doing good. They will call. Then I started fearing to call him because I say, will he pick my call if I call him? But before I travel, I, I say, let me call him. I call him. He pick. I say, yeah, he pick my call. <laughs> yeah. After I travel, came back. As I came back, I never go to church. Uh -huh. to church. Uh -huh. A person who can convince me to leave charismatic, any charismatic member here. Uh -huh. <laughs> Anybody who can convince you to leave charismatic. Like this, before all those things, huh? in my prayer group, because any place I, I would like to help people, but I will see people, most are charismatic, they are poor. This one will be crying. Some will not even have transport. Today we will go here, tomorrow we will go here. <laughs> I say what? Is it? They will tell you, if you want to follow me, carry your clothes. Cross and fall. cross of poverty. <laughs> Every time fasting. Yes. Look at me. You find out that fasting is nothing to me. Fasting, midnight prayer. It, you are ne you are never used to hear your voice. My neighbor. After I me I finish with you. Yeah. All my neighbors, my, they come and meet me. Say, how? Discussing. They say, I say I'm no more than you. Yes. Because. When I sing, God of them, they will wake and be listening the way I say. I'm entertaining them. I'm not I mean, it's entertainment. <laughs> now you have known it's entertainment. Then you thought it was a prayer. <laughs> <laughs> Glory be to God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, they ask me, they say that I should continue because when I sing, they enjoy it. Okay, sing for us. <laughs> sing for us. Sing for us. <laughs> my problem i thought my problem is big big after the two weeks all my problem is i started listening to the teaching listening to the teaching i say what let's assume i was here before all this problem that i'm causing by myself <laughs> it will not glory be to god i'm very very happy to you. i'm my i'm my special grief of god I would like to be among your people. Yeah. <laughs> Glory be to God. Love for Jesus. say this he said no we worship in the mountain we worship this just say if i give you this living water you will drink it and taste no more that what happened between me and him he took the water he drank and... Woo! 
the mobile evangelist. The way I react, I respond to circumstances become a testimony. My progress become a testimony. My progress become a testimony. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you. You people will see from him, you will see what we are talking about. Well, let me tell you the truth. By next year, January next year, he will have a car of his own. He will have a car of his own. Remind me if it didn't happen. <laughs> we cause things to happen. Many people are shortlisted here. That's why I told you in our currency, write your name. When you do write name, I check the files and move it in the spiritual world. You will see what will surprise you. We have waited long enough. When do you people want us to pack up from this place? <laughs> when do you people want us to pack out from this place? May they not fail in their faithfulness. May they not, there be nothing to accuse them of themselves. May they be guilty of nothing. Lead them not into temptation and deliver them from all forms of evil. From all forms of evil. From all forms of evil. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I am praying for your righteousness. Because God cannot bless you in error. If you are not ready to live right, forget about God's blessing from this altar. Father, I am praying, ask God, make my righteousness a constant. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Make my righteousness and my trust in you a constant. Unfailing. Make it a constant. Make it a constant. Make my righteousness a constant. Make my righteousness a constant. May I never compromise or sell my bed rights or go back to my vomit. Give me a total repentance, a perfect and complete repentance. Give me a brand new life. 
spiritually and physically, maritally and otherwise, a brand new life, a brand new thoughts. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, I bless your holy name. May it become alive wherever this message is played, wherever this prayer is offered. I arrest every demon that is there. I arrest every demon that is there. Let all of them bow down and be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Bow down and be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit.